tried to steal his private jet after an explosive fight with Meghan. Sir Ralph St John today revealed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex deliberately used his private jet without permission. Sir Elton wrote in an Instagram post this afternoon that Harry's late mother, Princess Diana, was one of his dearest friends and he feels angry about their shameful acts. Prince Harry and Sir Elton John have an incredibly close friendship, but the last night of their holiday was alright for fighting. The Duke of Sussex has revealed details of a clash they had at the Rocketman singer's French home in highly anticipated autobiography Spare, which is out today. Harry is hoping that the royal family don't mind that he's put all of his grievances down in words, and sorry seems to be the hardest word amongst the royals. Thankfully, Harry has been able to turn to his celebrity friends throughout the hard times, with the likes of Coldplay's Chris Martin and comedian James Corden getting a thank you at the back of Spare. Strangely though, there's no tribute to Elton John, who gets a number of mentions throughout the book, with Harry revealing details of a holiday disagreement and a song refusal. Elton was very close friends with Princess Diana, famously leaving everyone at a funeral in tears with a special rendition of Candle in the Wind, sang in her honour in 1997. The I'm Still Standing singer performed at Harry and Meghan's wedding reception in 2018, and a year later, the couple went to stay with him in France after confessing that they were losing it. During their stay, Harry and Meghan went on a scooter ride with Elton's husband, David Furnish, and watched their boys fall in love with Archie. Harry writes that he would often catch the former Watford FC chairman studying Archie's face, and knew it was because of his son's strong resemblance to Diana. On the final night of their stay, they were relaxing around the pool with Elton offering cocktails, but they got into a tense disagreement. Harry said he was busy congratulating Elton on finishing his memoir, Me, but the atmosphere soured when the tiny dancer singer revealed it was going to be serialised in the Daily Mail. In spare, he writes, he saw my face, he quickly looked away. Elton, how in the absolute? The Duke asked Elton why he'd chosen the newspaper, which had made his life so miserable, to which he replied that he wanted people to read it. Explaining it was a warm night and he'd already been sweating, Harry admits that beads of sweat were now dripping from his forehead during this awkward exchange. The prince kept pushing the singer and reminded him of specific lies that had been printed, but realised that Elton had accepted a cheque for £100,000. Harry adds, He didn't have an answer, but I didn't push him. I loved him. I'll always love him. And I also 